Working with Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy is fantastic for us. Like most people, you know, when you read the comics, these are the voices you hear of Batman and Joker. So, yeah, it's very hard to imagine the game without them. Batman isn't just this steely-eyed guy doing some rooftop dropping down, making the odd, you know, quip and then punching people. You know, he's going through hell. You're not safe here. No one is. Kevin would come in and go, no, I don't think Batman would quite say it like this, or no, this is how I want to say this line. And we're like, OK, cool, awesome, <laughs> let's go for it. Don't worry about me. You're needed out there. I've been doing the character now for 20 years. The audience knows him as well as I do. They would know in a second if I did something inauthentic, and they'd call me on it. <laughs> Get out of my way, Quinn. Leave us alone, B-Man! I said move! When you see Mark uh, become the Joker when he's actually in the recording booth and doing these voices, he actually physically kind of twists himself and manifests himself into Joker. <laughs> Mark, sometimes I think he actually is Joker, so he just turns up and he just nails it. In fact, we rewrote all the dialogue to really fit into where he was taking Joker. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> You fell for the old sick Joker guy, Batman. There's something about scary clowns, you know, that, that it just creeps people out. But you of all people should know, there's plenty wrong with me. His purpose in Batman's orderly world is just to mess him up big time. Take my blood, for example. I wish somebody would. This stuff is killing me. Why should I care? <laughs> because now, there's a teeny little bit of me and you too, bats. He gets great joy out of just the most sadistic, oddball things. Imagine sucking down that last breath knowing that Gotham is doing the same. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, didn't I say? I've spent weeks shipping samples of my blood to emergency rooms all over the city. Because of the complicated character, Bruce Wayne and the Joker, there's a sort of a mutual respect there. Even though he knows he's insane, and he knows he has to be controlled, he would never want to kill him. Whereas the Joker is constantly trying to kill Batman. Hold tight. I'm in touch! <laughs> Donna, she came having prepared absolutely everything about Talia. She was a huge fan, as it turns out. You know, read all the books, read all the comics, and just really understood it right from the get-go. It's different voicing a character versus actually acting or performing a character on screen. The only tool that you have to access is your voice. How did you find us? I recognized your personal guard. It was just a matter of following her. Please, mistress, he tricked me. Leave. I will deal with you later. I think Talia is really interesting because she skirts the line between good and bad. And you're not sure if she's completely aligned with the bad guys or the good guys. You didn't need to get yourself arrested to see me, Bruce. After that night we spent in Metropolis, you could have just gold. She has this dichotomy in that she's sexy and she's vulnerable, and there are some things that can pull at her heartstrings that she will fight for that suggest that she's more than just like a cold assassin. She's got something that she's willing to risk her life for. You lied to me. I thought you loved me, Bruce. Authentic voice acting and having this direct link into Hollywood and working with all these great actors, I mean, it, for us, it is the real difference between making a good game and a great game. As a developer, we almost live a dual life because we're here working in London on the game, but we also have these great hooks into Hollywood through Warner Brothers and a lot of different contacts there. And it's really important now that to make a blockbuster game, to make a AAA title, that you have proper Hollywood quality in everything that you do. We've worked on creating all of these sounds with some of the best Foley artists in the world. They have the experience of working on films such as The Dark Knight. You know, they really get and understand Batman's universe. Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday, christened on Tuesday, married on Wednesday. Foley Artist, to me, is one of the most fun jobs in that we get to play in the big sandbox. 
We replace sounds that either should be there or shouldn't be there in a way that you, the audience, don't know we've done it. We get a chance to create the sounds right to the picture and then play it back. The process will be we'll actually get to where we believe what it is we're seeing that is what we're hearing. That's the key to it fully. If we've done our job correctly, you don't know we've done it. And we use this for bone breaks. I'll demonstrate. When we work on feature films and then video games, typically, uh, Foley-wise, it's pretty much the same thing. That is, Batman's cape was a bit of an outgrowth of The Dark Knight. It needed to be something heavy, so we're using this leather jacket and this bridesmaid's dress. You don't want to do this, Freeze. Oh, I believe I do. We're asked to do face punches on Mr. Freeze. It just struck me that he's really inside this almost robotic, confining type outfit. I've got some old rollerblade gear in the back and a couple motorcycle helmets and some other things. I brought those out along with an old ski boot and started hitting with a hammer. And putting all that together, hopefully get to the game and I hit that button. He's getting hit in the face going, yeah, that's right. We have access to all the Warner lot, which is the big, huge film set. That gives us the ability to record any guns, anywhere, from loads of different perspectives, without upsetting the usual inhabitants of a big, huge city. We'll do one full clip. This will be the M4, this will be take two. If you imagine a gun firing in a street, the nearest wall is probably only, I don't know, 50 yards away or something. So you get these quick, delays, these reflections. That's where the authenticity comes in. Brian is an expert in recording guns, and he's like the world's expert in it. When you have it sound like that, it sounds, yeah, it doesn't sound believable. He did the guns on Inception, or he's done the guns on, you know, this big Hollywood movie or that one. Take three on the FNFL, you be first. We're actually recording 24 channels. That way the audio designers in the game can play around with different angles just to make it really seem like Batman's being shot at from distant perspectives. We really want everything in the game to have that same punch as a great blockbuster movie to bring Batman's universe to life and really make you feel like you are the Batman.